Welcome again to another episode of The Perfected Life. Today is one of my favorite shows. We have a wonderful artist here today with us, Veronica. Uh, she is the wife of Angelo from the duet, Angelo and Veronica. And we're going to be talking about her new album today, as well as her testimony and what God has done for her and how he's working in her life. And, and she's going to minister to us. I've already had a good time talking with her. And we will go right on into our interview here. Welcome, Veronica. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited to have you. So, um, well, first, well, let's talk about the album. I already put it down, but um, so this is your new album. Yes. This came out yes. in 2014 or 2013, the end of last year? Um, November. It did, we just did an online release on, on iTunes, so okay. in November of 2013. Yes. Okay, so all right. And pretty so new release. It's doing well. Um, I know. Yes, we're, we are trusting and believing God. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Phenomenal singer. Go out and get it. W wonderful, wonderful singer. Um, and you work with Fred Hammond on yes, here. Yes, it features Fred Hammond, uh, John P. Key, mm. Canton Jones, uh, Shirley Murdoch, Mississippi Mass Choir, and uh, Brian Courtney Wilson. And also I wrote, uh, co-wrote several songs with uh, Will Champlin, who was a uh, third runner-up of The Voice. Oh, this past, yeah, yeah, just yeah. this past year. Very nice, very mm -hmm. nice. Okay, mm -hmm. so now you live in Nashville now, but I you do. guys are getting ready to move. You told me that earlier <laughs> I know. to a cold climate, but you're um, originally from New York. I'm originally it? from New York City. Okay. I grew up in New York and New Jersey and, and Puerto Rico. Okay. And um, yeah, so I'm, I don't know, a Tenorican or something. I don't okay, know. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I grew up, I was born a New Yorican. I okay. guess now I'm a Tenorican. <laughs> and you're getting ready to celebrate uh, 21 years of marriage? Yeah, 20, it'll be 22 in, in April. 22 years in April. Yeah. Amen. Yes. You don't find that a lot. So I get excited when I find people that uh, are, are stay married and know what the true meaning of marriage is. Yeah. That it's a union between yeah. you your husband and yes. Christ. And God, yes. You know, a lot of us leave that part out, but yeah, yeah, that's the I don't, think, I don't know how you can do it any other way. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> me either, me either. And then you have, um, how old is, is Viviana, your Viviana daughter? Viviana is 13 years old now, and our son is 16. You Antonio. have a 16? Yeah, yes. so I have teenagers. Okay, mm -hmm. and she looks phenomenal. Oh, thank for teenagers. you. So um, you started, I asked you earlier, you said you started singing when you were four. I, yeah, and probably started singing when I was four and then professionally at, at 19. Okay. So I met Angelo when I was uh, 20 years old mm -hmm. and uh, got married at 22. Mm -hmm. We released our first album in uh, August of 92, Higher Place. Yes. And uh, so, yeah, we've just been together ever since. Amen. Amen. Isn't it wonderful when you find that one God has for you? Right? Yeah. 22 yes. years. Yes. And you guys met at Berkeley College we met, of Music. Uh, well, we met in the city of Boston. Angel oh, okay. actually went to Berkeley 10 years before me. Oh. Well, I love to say this. Oh, <laughs> he's got him a young girl. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But yeah, we both did attend Berkeley College of Music. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, tell us a little bit about uh, you have an amazing testimony. I actually mm. heard part of it um, one night I was watching TBN. You were on tele okay. TBN, and I saw that. Um, you went through some some things yes, and God yes, brought you out and yes. spoke to you and well that's what this uh, this album made it out, made it out alive is all about okay. it's about uh, made it, in fact the song made it out alive is about the one day um, 16 years ago my son is, is 16 years old uh -huh. and um, it was about the one day 16 years ago that my husband took my son out one day we had just moved to a new city uh, beautiful home. Everything was seemingly going well. We were about to go on tour with Donna McClurkin and mm -hmm. Kirk Franklin in London, England. Everything was seemingly going well in our marriage. And um, this one day, my husband took my son out just to give me a break. He was just a baby. And um, that day, when they left, I planned to take my life. Oh, wow. Because I struggled with uh, depression. Okay. From a young girl. Okay. I had, uh, I grew up uh, attached, uh, there was a spirit of fear mm. attached to me. Okay. The Bible says anxiety in the heart of a man is what causes depression. Yes. Fear and anxiety will always turn into depression. Okay. So I lived this depressed life um, and people didn't know, people didn't know this, that I was struggling with my self-worth, mm. with my self-esteem, mm. with how I felt about myself. Um, 
and and that was and my insecurities were destroying me from the inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this one day when my husband and my son left and I was there alone, I heard voices telling me I, I, that I was not a good wife, that I was not a good mother, uh, that I was not a good Christian, and that I'd be doing more harm than good by staying in the world, and that I should throw myself out the window and take my life. See, I'd had thoughts of suicide before, mm -hmm. but it was never this strong, okay. you know? And, but praise God, praise God, my husband and son came home Hallelujah. and I wasn't able to do Hallelujah. what I set out to Hallelujah. do that day. Yeah, and yeah. so Thank praise you, God. Yes, yes, yes. But mm. this is the real exciting thing is that after that day, I, I don't know how I, I made it through the night, mm -hmm. um, but I just continued to do what, what God was uh, uh, telling me to do, such as uh, pray and read my Bible and go to church. Yes, and yes. one day when I was in church on a Sunday morning, the Lord spoke to me. And all I heard that morning, because I was still very, very emotionally distraught from that situation, I was ready to do whatever it is I had to do. Um, and I thank God for those those desperate times. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because you're yes. willing to yes. to do whatever it is that you have to do to ch in order to change your life. Hallelujah. Yes. You know? So, uh, so I was sitting there in church and uh, all I heard was one thing that the preacher said and all he said was when you read the Bible, read it out loud. Amen. Amen. Ooh, come on, tell us. What that, that was what, it. What, what you know what I'm do? saying? It became revelation yes. to my life. Yes. The Bible says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the oh, word of God. So the most powerful thing that you can ever do, or, or one of the most powerful things, and for me it was just, it changed my life. <clears throat> I just started, I went home and I started um, uh, highlighting scriptures out of uh, this, just this promise book that somebody had given me. And right. I started highlighting scriptures, scriptures that spoke to me. Yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? You have to find what speaks to you and your situation Amen. and to your condition. Amen. You know, so God just highlighted scriptures to me. And um, the few of them that, that A Voice for Women, my ministry now, mm -hmm. is, is based on is uh, 2 Timothy 1.7. Okay. For God did not give me a spirit of fear, yeah, but on. of power and of love and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. And Psalm 139.14, okay. because of my struggle with my self-worth and uh -huh. not knowing who I was in Christ. Uh -huh. uh, Psalm 139.14, uh, um, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are his works, Amen. and we are his works. Yes. And also Jeremiah 29, 11, for God knows the plans that he, he has, has for you. you, plans for welfare, not for calamity, Come on. but to give you a future and a hope. Because that one day, that one day 16 years ago that I was about to take my life, mm. I mm. didn't have a future, I didn't have a hope, mm. I didn't see light mm. at the end of the mm. tunnel. There mm. was no light, okay. but God showed me that there was a light within me. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and that yes. I could release that yes. through the Word of God. Yes, yes. Wow. You know, um, the, the, it's His Word is powerful and He to a sword. Amen. And, Amen. Um, when it go, when you read it out loud, it goes out into the atmosphere. Yes. Because you know we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against yes. spirits and principalities that we yes. can't see. Yes. So if we speak that word out loud, then you you're totally changing the atmosphere when you read out there's loud. A, there's a few things that happen, and, and that that I really always try to meditate on when uh, when when I speak the word is that you are just crushing the enemy. Amen. You are just crushing him. I mean, you're hurting him. Amen. It's the sword. Amen. It's the sword of the spirit. Yeah. And so you're literally just ripping him to yes. shreds. Yes. You know, another thing is that the angels have to obey hey. his word. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So you, you speak it uh, 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 so that it, God can bring it to pass. Let, his will has to be done. And this is one of the ways that it things get done yes. in the spirit. Yes. And, and then also the other thing is that I just believe that we have to speak God's language. Yes. And that is God's language. Yes. The, those are his thoughts. Mm -hmm. Those are his mind. Mm -hmm. It's his will. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and I want to be able to communicate with God. Yes. So Amen. every time I speak his word, I feel like I'm, I'm speaking his language and that he hears me. And he so. does. He does. You know, I often tell people that there's something in the Bible for every situation you go yes. through. I don't yes. care what it is. Yes. And you literally, I mean, you're not going to walk around saying, you know, first John, but you literally, sometimes at work, what I stopped doing, um, I used to go, well, you know, second Timothy and blah, blah, blah. 
I stop that and I just say mm -hmm. what the word says. And they're like, yeah. Oh, that's yes. so deep. I'm like, that's the Bible. Yeah. After I, yes. you know, draw them in, you know, because yes. a lot of people don't realize that it's it's the greatest story ever told. It's the number one selling book of all time, mm -hmm. and that there's life in it, and you can find yourself. I found yes. Sonia in there. Yes. You know. Yes. You know. Yes. Personalize yeah. it. Yeah. Personalize it. Make it personal. Mm -hmm. Make it for you. It's not just for somebody else. It's not just for the priest. It's not just for the pastor. It is for your life. And he speaks to you. A lot of yes. people don't, you know, all that. Right. No, he speaks to you mm -hmm. every day. Yes. It's just up to us to listen and hear. Yes. And getting to, get in the words so we know it's him. Yes. You know, because everything is going to line up yes. with his word. Yeah, we're going to be able to recognize truth from lies. See, Amen. I had believing, I had been believing lies okay. all my life growing up and okay. even to that very moment. And that's what almost put me off, you know, on the brink, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and on the ledge was lies. And once you start reading the Word of God, and Jesus Himself is truth. Yes. Once you start recognizing uh, truth from lies, mm -hmm. then you're gonna then you're gonna understand everything. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be able to discern. You know what? This is a lie, mm -hmm. and I'm not receiving it. it. You know? Exactly. And so. For me, it was it was learning who I was in Christ, yes. which I didn't know yes. growing up. But now God is teaching me every single day who I am mm -hmm. in Him, mm -hmm. and also just giving me truth concerning my life. Right. Because one lie almost destroyed my life. Right. It will take you down that path of destruction, and it will cause you to do desperate things. You know, all because of lies. That's the power that that's the only power that the enemy has right. is his lies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, you're here now, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm very thankful that uh, the Lord intervened and your your husband came home. Um, so when you say, because there's always when you what was that moment where like that aha moment where you're like oh that's what happened and yeah. that's why and that has nothing to do with me you know how people go through things yeah. um, as and, as children and, and, and they develop fear from people saying oh you're never going to be this you're never going to be that yes. and that fear comes and the anxiety and then you have all these thoughts that you're you're inadequate what was yeah. the moment where you were like you know what because a lot of times you have to realize that we can't blame ourselves mm -hmm. for what has happened or, or what was said but we just start p pick ourselves up and just you know yeah what was that aha moment um for you i know you said your husband came home yeah um yeah. but well i think it's just every day of my life every day of my life you know where god shows me something where i'm like oh my gosh i've been believing this but no this is the truth mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and mm -hmm. so i mean the truth does because i was a prisoner of my emotions Amen. You know, I was a prisoner to, to, to these emotions, to these insecurities, to these fear, mm -hmm. to this depression. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? The thing that was just bringing me down, bringing me down, bringing me down. But the truth was like, wow, you know what? This isn't, this is not, I've been believing this, but you know what? This is what the truth is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so little by little, it's like God just sets me free mm. you know as as I continue on in prayer as I continue on in this word and now there's just nothing that I want more because I think so many young women struggle with self-esteem mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I mean they 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 naturally just criticize themselves put themselves down you know all these yeah. young women yeah. Yeah. these young beautiful, beautiful. Uh, uh, women who have so much potential mm -hmm. in their lives mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's like they, they're, they're torn a lie, down. Exactly, they're believing a lie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and I want women, young women, and, and women of all ages right. just to know who they are right. in Christ. In Christ Amen. You know, and Amen. there's just nothing more important. I, I just I have this passion now. And also, it's like I want people to be set free from depression. Mm -hmm. I want people to be set free from that mm -hmm. because, and, and I think what really um, changed things for me is that when I went through all, all that I went through, you know, and I was like, wow, God is making this, you know what I'm saying? He makes something very tragic and very ugly, uh -huh. but he makes it beautiful. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The devil and meant so, it for evil, but God meant it for good. Yes. Amen. All the time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so and so it just kind of blossomed mm -hmm. into this ministry. Yes. And um that's 
that's what's so exciting. So now I understand why I went through yes, what I went exactly. through. And now each and every day of my life, I have a reason right. to wake up and I realize that I have a reason to live. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You're saying so much and as you're talking, I don't want to interrupt you, but I'm like, I have like thoughts. I'm like, yes, that's yes, yes. Um, um, what you were saying, um, your emotions, uh, nowadays people are so very emotional. Yeah. Everything yep. is based on emotion. And I have yeah. to, and I thank the Holy Spirit for this, because I recognize that myself, I, I grew up wanting to please people. One of those, I'm yeah. one of those people. Okay. And, um, but not anymore, but um, I would have this thing about, well, they're upset with me, you know, and I'm, why are they upset with me? And they're not even thinking about me. And a lot of times yeah. it's not even as, as, as much as what we think it is, if we just go, you know what, maybe I'm focusing on the wrong thing, you know. Um, a lot of times, you know, people, people are going to be who they are. And yeah. I yeah. had to learn that as long as I'm serving God and I'm, and I'm doing right and loving and treating people the way I'm, I want to be treated and being you know, just earnest um, and genuine, if I haven't done it, why are you, you know, and, and that again is the enemy attacking that because I want everyone to like me. Yes. And everyone's yes. not going to like it, and especially yeah, that's now. That's right. You know, like I was that's telling your right. husband, I'm to the point now where I'm much more bold. Yeah. And I just don't really care. Yeah. The Bible says Amen. it is what it yes. is. The, the Bible you know? says the fear of man is a trap. Yes. It is a trap. Yes. It, it will g bring you to a place mm -hmm. that you don't want to be. Mm -mm. You know, so I mean, to be set free again, it's being set free yes. from fear. Yes. Being set free from the opinions of man. Amen. And, and that's what I'm learning that you can only let the word of God uh, define you. Yes. You can only let the word of God, um, uh, what's it, validate you. Yes. Come on. You can only let the word of God, um, uh, d you know, give you your worth. Yes. That's where you have to get your worth. That's yes. where you have to get your approval, your acceptance. That's where you. Uh, that's what should define you. Yes. Nobody else should be able to put labels on exactly. you. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Except for God. All right. And so that's how we need to live our lives. And it's a challenge it every day. It's a challenge, but it can be done. Yes, it can. Yeah. Yes, it can. And um, and it's actually easy, I think, if you just Amen. get in the Word yeah. and just. Pull yourself up by your it's, it's a little it, bit of work. It, I, I there mean, is work. It's, it's, it's work. Little, it's a little bit of work, but a, a little every day will go a long way. Yes. See, so you just have to be consistent. consistent you have to be yes. diligent. Yes. You know, so just be encouraged. You know, keep mm -hmm. studying the Word of yes. God because yes. that's that's the only thing. That's our only anchor. Yes. That's our only security in Amen. this life, and it's our only safety when mm -hmm. it comes right down to it. That's you know? how we get to know Him. Lo, I come in the volume of the book, Learn of Me. Yeah. That's yeah. what he says. So we have this uh, clip from Veronica uh, talking about a testimony. Let's take a look at that. Hey, guys. Um, wanted to talk to you all a minute um, about my album, Made It Out Alive, and what it means to me. Um, because it's something that goes beyond... It goes beyond the songs. And it goes beyond the production, and it goes beyond the singing. I'm sorry, it's just, it's, it's very emotional for me. Um, I'm not, I'm not putting this on. <laughs> um, but I just felt like I needed to share this um, about the story, about Made It Out Alive. Because I know um, that hopefully it can um, help someone. Um, Made It Out Alive is a story of one day, um, 16 years ago, my, my son is 16 years old now, um, he was just a little baby, um, I remember we had moved to a new city, we had moved into a, a, a beautiful home, a, a big home, and uh, everything was seemingly going well in our lives, and um, this one day, my husband took my son out to, to give me a break that day. And um, when he uh, when he left, when he left the house, I planned to take my life that day. Um, I was going through depression. I was going through a very very dark dark time in my life, which was not, which was really not an unusual thing for me, because I. Um, 
have suffered from depression. Um, I, I had I, this. This was my my secret struggle, you know, that I had growing up and even in my adulthood, you know. So, um, um, so this one day, he took uh, he took my son out, and uh, I planned to take my life that day. I literally heard voices in my spirit, not, not audible, but in my spirit saying, you are not a good wife, you are not a good mother, you are not a good Christian, and you'd be doing more harm than good by staying in the world. And that, that I should throw myself out the window and take my life. I mean, this is what I heard in my spirit. And it, it, it seemed like the right thing to do. It, it really, really did. And um, all that day, I meditated on how I would take my life. And um, because it was just so dark, and I saw no light at the end of the tunnel. I just, I saw no hope at all. And um, I felt completely worthless as a person. Um, and I, I just really thought, that this was the right thing to do. Well, thank God, uh, my husband and my son came home and I was not able to do what I planned to do that day. Thank God. I mean, I don't know if they had, uh, uh, hadn't stepped in right at that moment. I don't know even if I would be here today. So it's the very presence of my family the very presence of God that saved my life that day. Woo. Wow. All right. That Amen. was amazing. That, Amen. Amen. I, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um, and in the name Amen. of that, you call the name of that clip again? Yes. I, it's the, I called it the story behind Made It Out Alive. Okay. Yeah. So this is the first CD that I ever received uh, by Angela and Veronica. Phenomenal CD. Um, and we have her husband here, of course, uh, Angelo. And I just want to talk with Angelo a bit. Earlier today, we got into some wonderful, wonderful conversation about the Lord and, and the Holy Spirit and, and the Word. And he has so much to share. Now, he was kidding with us earlier, I think, saying that he wasn't singing anymore. But his wife has this wonderful um, album coming out, so we're going to support her in this phase. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, Veronica Petrucci.
situation that I'm talking about, but you didn't know if you're gonna live or die. You didn't know if you're gonna make it out alive, but guess what? You're still here, you're blessed, God has kept you, and you know what? He saves the best for last. Come on, do you believe it? Come on, do you believe it? 